Hey guys, I'm Jernate on occasion, and today we're doing a spot of gardening. Well, actually, this guy is. Hopefully not for much longer. We're gonna kill a demon prince, it's gonna be great. So, survival battle, activate. The mansion of the Plague Lord. The crooked manor of Nurgle. None would survive crossing its threshold, but the gardener will come as soon as we trespass upon its outer defenses. Capture the canker tree in the Garden of Blight. This will give you a foothold and grant us supplies to reinforce for the struggle ahead. There are two other trees you will need to claim and so dominate the battle. Nurgle is amused you have made it this far. Slay his servants and ensure he will not mock you again. So cool. So cool. Also, I find, uh, I find the fact that it's a mansion and, like, the gardens to be really interesting. Because you don't have a mansion unless you're lording over everybody. So, you know, that idea of Nurgle being like, oh, he's so kind to all of his children and everything. He's lording over them. He has, he has them literally... Like servicing his grounds, they they are doing the work for him. He they are literally tending to his garden, and you might think like, oh no, they're all it's a you know it's a communal garden, right? They're all just working towards creating like no, it's a mansion. Like you can't get much more overt, a sort of um, you know, it's a much more of an explicit depiction of the fact that Nurgle's the guy in charge and everyone else is just doing his bidding. You know, it's uh, I think it's great. I think it's such a cool thing. That's the thing, I feel like I keep having to remind people Chaos Gods are bad, because it's amazing how many, like... <laughs> how many, like, Nurgle apologists <laughs> are in the comments at all times. Be like, no, he loves everyone. He's the god of life. And he's not. He's, he's not. Not really. Not really. It's a twisted... It's a twisted version of that, okay? It's not... It's just, no. Stop it. Yeah, stop trying to convince me that Nurgle's cool. He's not. He's disgusting. He is malicious. He is cruel. It's just that, uh, yeah, he gets to corrupt his demons how he sees fit, and they're all into it now, you know? They've uh, drank from the Kool-Aid, as it were. Hello there. Hello, giant eye. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, is this your mouth? Okay. This is what a Sarlacc looks like if you try and dig it up. But anyway. Um, right. Let's move in. Alright. You lot move in. You guys can just start shooting whatever you like. You can shimmy to one side. And you guys are going to have to shimmy in behind. Though it might be a little difficult to get in properly over there. And yeah, you two can hang back a bit. That way if anything pushes in this way, try and flank. We can shoot them right in the face. Perfect. You guys can't shoot anything from there, can you? Alright, you know what? You guys can move forward too. And I guess it's time to turn you into a dragon. It's that time again. Alright. So it's only Nurglings, isn't it? Oh, there is a beast of Nurgle in there. Oh, and there are some Plague Bearers. Okay, in that case. I guess I will... I was going to say I'll use Lightning, but now I don't know, because they're all moving. Yeah, so now I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that beast of Nurgle. Brilliant. Oh, good. Get some shots in. The crane gunners. Okay, let's buff and debuff. Okay, good. We are doing great work over there. With very few issues, I've got to say. So let's uh, get some lightning over here. I mean, we'll hit whatever. It's fine. Alright, let's move you a little closer. And you Dragon Guard can keep moving in. We can actually start capping this. We can actually start capping that. And yeah, Crane Gunner's doing a great job dealing with the Beast of Nurgle from a distance. You know, that's the problem with the Beast of Nurgle. Too tall for its own good. Too tall for its own good. Oh, and there it goes. Excellent. Hey, good news. Good news. That was a little risky. That was a little risky. And I can't seem to target ground there for some reason, which is annoying. 
even though it is technically artillery. Oh well. Okay, let's swivel you around. Of course, swiveled, yes. All right, one of you guys needs to actually hang out here. Um, so these two guns will just shoot. Uh, no, not you. Hang on. So what have we got here? We've actually got... Okay, that's quite cool. I didn't realize we had Celestial Dragon Guard over here. So that's good. But yeah, those guys will just shoot whatever's tool there, which should work. Amazing how resilient these guys are, seriously. So resilient. Far too resilient. They just don't want to die. They just don't want to die. Alright, let's use some more lightning. Always more lightning. And Rom is going to get stand your ground again, which is perfect. I need that extra melee attack to keep our guys in the fight. Brilliant. Good. Alright, you guys can do turn around as well. Let's block this area a bit. Because we will soon be taking this. So, you having fun? You gonna you gonna do anything? You gonna you gonna shoot? Him? Well, the crane guns are shooting at least. I really wish I hadn't told him to move just then. <laughs> I was like, I get in a better spot before they start shooting, and then they start shooting. Sod's law, in it. All right, in you get. Look at this. Oh, cool. Horrible statue. Ugh weird crab claw, which is actually part of the statue by the looks of it. Or is it? Or did that grow on the statue? It's kind of hard to tell. Kind of hard to tell. But also, this armor doesn't really resemble anything, which I think is really cool. Like, it just sort of hints at, like, a much older culture than is currently present anywhere in the Warhammer world. It's really cool. Because everything here is ancient and otherworldly. It's really cool. Really cool stuff. So yeah, you guys are going to need to make a move. That's for sure. But let's start building towers. So, uh, once again, I am just going to go with the big towers. So we can do as much damage as possible to anything uh, encroaching on us. So we can defend with the fewest units possible. Okay. Oh, more towers over here. The one, yeah, okay, there's two more in the back then. Excellent. God, look at this thing. <laughs> That's horrible. This, this thing, this creature here, this poor creature, that is not the creation of a benevolent god. It just is not. It just isn't. No. No. The Chaos Gods, they're all completely self-interested. That's their thing. That's who they are. Okay, so, let's get you guys lined up. Okay, find where you are. Already got towers blasting things. And, uh, by things, I mean Hox Riders of Nurgle. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible creatures. Brackish plague toads pressed into service and forced to bear necrotic plague bearers into battle. See, even the toads, they're forced to do things. You know, it's not like they decided, oh yeah, sounds great. Can't wait. Can't wait to serve Nurgle. He's a cool guy. Nah, nah. Nah. Not happening. Okay, so we're getting some good damage in around the place. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need additional towers, though. There's a lot coming right now. There's a lot coming for us. Though, we do have a bunch of uh, pretty decent units holding out here, so... Oh god, you probably don't want to sit too close to this. <laughs> I can't imagine these uh, maggots are going to do us any favours. Alright, so they've been handled, which is fine. Now uh, we should get some good shots into this lot. Into this bunch. Ugh. Horrible. Alright, let's go fight these Plague Toads now. And yeah, I really do use our, um, you know, the Legendary Lords really proactively. Well, I had to click on these guys to attack them. There's all the buffs and the debuffs. And wow. A bunch of Plague Toads just bowling into here. Alright, let's lower their melee attack. Because we can just blast them with the Iron Hail Gunners. Iron Hail Gunners should do some great work here. Although it looks like the enemy are coming into us. I don't like this. Yeah, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Good lads. 
And Beast of Nurgle, almost killed. Almost killed them. Also going to buff our Jade Warrior's defensive stats. 86 melee defense should probably do it. <laughs> I imagine that'll probably do well. This is looking a little iffy, though. We suffered some damage over here, that's for sure. Let's heal them. What other units can we actually get at the moment? Uh, we can get some Jade Warriors with Halberds. That might be good. But I think I am just going to go with the additional Rocket Towers. Okay, you guys need to back up a bit, because this is getting a bit iffy. This is also a little bit iffy. Many things are iffy here. Alright, let's, let's hit with lightning, alright? Do you know what happens when a toad is struck by lightning? We fire all the writers and get new ones. We reboot the franchise. You killed X-Men. X-Men is ruined now. Sorry, I went a bit off track. Uh, anyway. You go handle them. I mean, everyone's looking pretty good. I mean, they're, they're fine. Oh, Beast and Urgle coming in. Yeah, let's go mess these guys up. You guys are doing good, though. And Sky Junk. Barely any kills on Sky Junk, amazingly. So few kills. And a huge amount of ammunition has been used up by these guys already. Okay, you really need to go around the, the gunk fountain, actually. Please stop. Alright, you need to go deal with that Beast and Urgle. Thanks. Oh, Iron Hail Gunners just, just can't get out of combat here. Alright, you can, Yeah, you know what? They're, they'll go, it's fine. Go get that Beast and Urgle. And you shoot these lot, okay? Shoot the ones in the distance. And we're gonna get some more debuffs going. At huge damage to the Beast and Urgle. Fantastic. Alright, let's do some more buffs. And debuffs, you know. And let's get the Celestial Dragon Guard to move back. The Celestial Dragon Guard can block this entrance. We've got some more cash again, so we can build this tower as well. And that'll be all the towers built in this area. Should keep us going for a while. Don't like these guys still taking so much damage. It's very irritating, in fact. How are you guys still alive? The amount of damage that we have done to you. Very frustrating. Only 14 kills on these Jade Warriors. Which is sort of ridiculous. Okay, let's heal you up a bit. Uh, let's get the Celestial Dragon Guard. Some extra melee defense. 90 melee defense. God, we have some really sturdy folks, don't we? We really do. Real sturdy folks. Alright, nearly done over there. Um, let's start getting some lightning. On top of these boys. And, okay, that's going well. Okay, more kills. Good. Yeah, you're doing better now. You're doing a lot better now. Yeah, that's great. But God, they just don't want to die, huh? They just do not want to die. I mean, it's not like I should uh, expect them to want to die. But it'd be nice if they did. I'm <laughs> just saying. It'd be nice if they did. God, look at this. What is this, like, intestines? Like, in Corn's Realm, we had a wall of fire, and now we just have, like, poopy intestines. It's pretty gross. Pretty disgusting. Alright, you're, you're good. You can you can stop. You can stop. So, our Jade Warriors have definitely suffered. You know, huge in a huge, like, slog against things like Forsaken and Plague Bearers. Like, they're gonna take damage. Meow Yin's doing great, though. She's barely taken a scratch, as far as I can tell. She's just been kicking the crap out of everybody. 21,000 damage already? Marvellous. Okay, so we've got towers everywhere. Um, oh, look at these statues. I mean, look at these. Like, what what empire is this, you know? So cool. The big shoulder pads. Sort of weird, some weird ancient civilization from the 80s. It's wild. Anyway, next troops are on their way up. So, let's start moving up. Uh, don't know what to do with the crane gunners. Uh, might keep them here for now. You can move up. Don't have to worry about ranged all that much. Not really. Uh, it looks like they're coming for us. I'm not best pleased about. Okay, guys, let's put you here. You guys can stand here. 
And you guys can stand there. Okay, what have we got in the way of infantry? Not much. <laughs> not much. Really not sure. Alright, go go jump on top. Go jump on top of those and we'll see what happens. The dragons Warrior Okay, just just hang out in the trees. You can shoot the tree, it's fine. Uh you keep moving up. Luckily the towers are doing some great work over here. Inhale gunners might be able to shoot, might not, hard to tell. I don't think seem to be going okay. God, the towers will not stop shooting, huh? It's lovely. It's good to see. Yeah, you need to start shooting now as well. Yeah. These guys are firing. They are going to need more ammunition. Restock their ammo. Uh, yeah, you guys just have to hold over here, I guess. Okay, you can move up. Uh, oh, I don't really want them to loiter back here. So we can give you more ammunition to move you up. Uh, you are going to hang out back here. And uh, you are going to hang out back. Back here. And you guys, I suppose, are going to go over here. You and you can block this way. Never conquered. Never conquered. Yeah, you guys still going. Still going, which is nice. You should probably chase them down though, yeah? You know, like I told you to do. And you're out of ammunition. Okay, more ammo for you. Spending all of our all of our money on ammo. <laughs> right, I don't want to grab that just yet. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna go there now. Okay, they're gonna keep coming this way. That's fine. You know, they can keep doing that. Our Celestial Dragon Guard are holding. I'm going to heal them up before they start taking more casualties. And, you know, I am tempted to get a bunch of, um... I am tempted to get a bunch of, uh, uh... Uh, uh halberds. Of Jade Warrior Halberds. Let's do that. I've decided these Jade Warriors are all a bit knackered. So we are going to need additional troops to hold this. Maybe. Perhaps. It's only one more unit. Understood. Okay, so let's get you guys up here too. Okay, let's get you up here. And we are dealing with the plague bearers, though my word, it's taken a while. Right, let's get you up here. Uh, still can't get through with them. All these guys are out of ammunition. Jesus. It's okay, more ammo for the Jade Warrior Crossbowman. Okay, good. Now, let's move these guys up here. Like so. There's going to be some weird overlap going on, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's move you over here. You over there. Alright, run our way in. Hopefully, this would all work out okay, kind of. Mostly. Okay. Let's put you pointing that way. You point it that way. And hopefully we'll cover most of these areas. I mean, I would quite like more of these guys up here, but I'm a little concerned we're going to have a lot of stuff charging in that we can't quite fight off. Okay, so we've got four grand right now, so we should be able to get a bunch of towers. Uh, from somewhere. Where do towers live? There's one. Let's get a tower from there. A tower from here. Uh, tower up here as well. It seems great, actually. That should be able to reach uh, the the final point, I think. And ah, one more tower over here, which we can't afford, but nearly. Is that all of them? Yep, just one tower left. So yeah, that's the final tower. So we could get a cheaper one, but no, no, no. And go with the explosive tower because it's the best one. Okay, come on. Two grand. Almost there. Almost there, guys. Any second now. <laughs> Just gonna keep going. God, love the skyboxes. 
Just like it just it makes you it makes you feel poorly just looking at it. Right. Yeah, we're almost in position. So another wave is coming in, of course. So it uh, looks like it's going to be a mixture of things again. Those rot flies need to get taken down, though. Because those rot flies are going to be quite good at taking out the towers. So they're the things I'm going to focus on. Oh, there's Jade Warrior uh, Halberds. I'm going to push them out, friend. Repositioning. And yep, towers are helping out too. Brilliant. They're just going to keep going. I mean, you guys are ready to shoot, right? Yeah? Very cool. So cool. I'm amazed they've still got the leadership, though. Jeez. It's rather impressive. Rather impressive they're still going. Very cheeky. Not going to go much longer, of course. But they are still going, you know. Uh, oh god. Oh, no, they're gonna slip in. That's no good. Alright, you guys need to pull back. And actually, ooh, maybe I can't afford to pull back. There we go. I do need more infantry here. If they out-infantry me, then bad things will happen. Alright, how are things looking on that side? Things are looking okay on the other side. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. But I'm glad I can start getting Celestial Dragon uh, Warriors out now. That's going to benefit us a lot. going to benefit us an awful lot. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm confident. And on this side, it does look like our towers are able to handle most of this. So the best enemies here seem to be Forsaken. It's mostly Nurglings. Oh my god, just these rows of teeth. It was awful. God, it, it looks like a zip. Like, just the worst zip. I would love to see a zip with that pattern on. I think it'd look really cool. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you guys need more ammo. Okay, I want my Sky Junk to be doing good work. Because I think it's a cool unit. And I want to see it, see it achieve. You know? Alright, we're going to heal you up. Uh, we're going to pull both of you in. And hopefully you guys will... Uh, oh, God. They're coming. They're <laughs> coming. All right. Let's debuff them. Curse the Midnight Wind. It'll be very handy. So, I mean, we're holding here rather well. The Jade Warriors... I mean, Jade Warriors are nothing to write home about, but they're holding well. They are holding well here. Doing a good job. And the rows of guns... And archers we've got over here. Very cool. Oh, we've got a bunch of Jade Warrior crossbowmen just... Sorry, Celestial Guard. Just hanging out in here like a bunch of idiots. Blocking everyone's uh, blocking everyone's line of sight. But yeah, looks like we've managed to... Break them. Good. Good news. Good news indeed. Still a hell of a lot of them coming, though. Hell of a lot of them coming. Okay, we still got this, though. We are still controlling this. We are killing enough that they aren't tipping the uh, the balance of power too far. All right, just random lightning, why not? Just random lightning. Random lightning just fixes everything. All right, I'm actually going to pull these guys back a bit. So the... the yeah, so our... our I forget what they're called. Iron Hail Gunners. Our Iron Hail Gunners can keep shooting these guys. If there's ever a gap, they'll just blast into the gap. I think that'll be a good thing. I don't want to pull you guys back a little bit. And we'll see how that goes. Might be a terrible idea. Sort of opening the floodgates, but... Worst case scenario, I hit with a comet Cassandora right in the middle and kill everything. Yeah, that's more like it. Huh, ish. Yeah, is that... I think, I think we're fine. Oh god, we're not fine. <laughs> Okay, you know they're still firing. So we're probably fine. Alright, alright Meow Yin, go fight these guys. You know what, they are actually starting to crumble, so I think we did do the right thing here. Because that would have been a very long, like, belaboured battle that we would have had there. 
Okay, you know what? Jade Warriors, you line up roughly. And Celestial Dragon Guard, I'm going to heal you up again. Because you've still got a healthy chunk of units there. I'm also going to get the rest of the Celestial Dragon Guard in. Uh, I should probably heal you up as well. You've been fighting well for us. So that's four Celestial Dragon Guard. I'm going to actually group you. And I'm going to bring in you guys. And... Got the Iron Hail Gunners coming in. God, they've got very little health. Okay, one you can stay there. Uh, Celestial Dragon Guard. Oh, do I need to cover this? Maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Not sure yet. Alright, you come up here. Uh, just the one Celestial Dragon Guard can cover that, I've decided. Okay, you guys, you're going to do great. Do need some ranged units back here, though. You know, for the sake of Yin and Yang. So I guess we're going to take crossbowmen. Okay, crossbowmen are coming up. You're going to need more ammunition. Let's do that. Did I just command a bunch in from over here? Yes, I did. You know what? Fine, you guys. You do you. Okay, stay back here. Although, I feel like nothing is going wrong over here. You know what? Screw it. You guys, join group two. Okay, you're coming over here. It's going to take eight years. But that's okay. That's why we can press that button. Also, that tower is indeed shooting into the final point, which is very useful for us. Very useful indeed. And I suppose I could just get stuck right in here. There is a great unclean one over here, though. That might be a bit of a bother. Come to think of it. But hey, we'll probably be fine. Probably. Okay, we have too many Celestial Dragon Guard running up one entrance. <laughs> It'll be fine. Alright, now where's all my archers? They're coming. They're coming. Take the time. But they're coming. Okay, just stay where you are, I suppose. And start shooting that way. Nice. What I like to see. And let's start shooting lightning? Yeah, why not? Lightning's always fun. Oh, don't move. Hang out in the lightning. Lightning's fun. Didn't you hear me before? Well, we did some damage. This is where a wind blast would actually be appreciated. You know, the spell I've been refusing to get this whole time. <laughs> Because I'm clever. Yeah, you guys are doing well. You're going to need more ammo, though. And uh, you two. You two are going to have to really get a move on. Seriously. Taking your sweet time. Alright, fight the great unclean one. Buff the crap out of yourself. Kill it to bits, okay? That's the plan. And you need more ammunition again. No worries. No worries. I got you, babe. I got you. Uh, let's use a chain lightning, because I never use that. I don't think I've used a chain lightning once yet. But it's going to be really fun if it uh, if it pays off. And immediately the roll... Okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, I like I like the mystery, but uh, that was um, disappointing. Right, so how are you guys doing? Fine. Everyone's doing fine. I mean, there's nothing else. Like, until we take this point, there's no more waves coming. I really am just sat here, just chilling. Hit 200 kills for Sky Junk. Great unclean one we are dealing with, which is good. Come on, it's just a greater demon. You're a dragon. Don't have to worry about this nonsense. Have them easy. Nice. Oh, that really upset him. That really upset him. Oh, he'll be crumbling now. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Alright, more lightning. Sick. Dragon versus Grey, unclean one. Very, very cool. There it goes. It didn't sludge. It didn't turn into sludge. How strange. Maybe it's too big that the sludge didn't quite do it justice, you know? But yeah, all the other Nurgle stuff seems to turn into sludge when it dies. So that's a bit of a pity, really. 
And all right, lightning again, I suppose. They're all throwing. They're all throwing poop at the sky junk. All right, let's jump in. Do we have the uh, thing of of Kandalan? What's it called? The I can't what it's called. What is that ability? Is that an explosive thing we had before? What if we still have that? Immediately. All right, there you go. Okay, now you're attacking. There's a weird delay there. Okay, you guys need more ammo again. We're spending so much on ammunition. So much. Again there, though. Oh, and you need more ammo again. Again. Yeah, so there is going to be a greater demon of, uh, well, a demon prince of Nurgle coming out of here. God, look at the big mouths. Ugh. Horrible. Just, just awful. In a mansion can eat stuff, it's pretty gross. And like, this is all just like a real mess. More bells, of course. Very cool. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, uh, just hang about for this to, this to finish. Because what is it really? Is it, I mean, the physical resistance is only 20%. And they do get the extra nine melee defense when in melee, which yeah, it really does help them out when they're in melee. It's weird the idea of melee defense when in melee. Like, why not just give them more melee defense? Because they don't need melee defense when they when they aren't in melee. Melee defense doesn't do anything. So it seems a bit weird to have a buff in melee for something that is only relevant in melee. It feels weird. It feels weird to me. You know, it's fine. It's whatever. Um. Do I bring up any more troops? I think I do want to bring in some Iron Hail Gunners! They're very excited about being um, Iron Hail Gunners. Also, they seem surprised to be Iron Hail Gunners. They seem very surprised. Oh, look at all this. The terrain is truly phenomenal. What the hell is this? Oh my god, that is horrible. Dragonfly as a totem. That's deeply disturbing. Ugh. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> right. Everybody in. I mean, this isn't exactly pleasant either. Squirmy wormies. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want to touch those. Ugh. So, what can I summon today? I can get a bunch of great long mile riders, which would be fun, uh, but I think I might just spam a bunch of terracotta sentinels. Although the towers are probably a better idea. I think the towers are probably the best thing to build. Because you can't really go wrong with a bunch of towers. Is that all of the towers? Yep, only three. Which means the rest of the money can indeed go on summoning units. So, uh, Terracotta Sentinels. Good. Yeah, it should work a treat. Come. Here they come. And where are you? You're down there. Of course you are. Of course you are. Alright, go attack them. Alright, go attack him. Go kill kill Demon Daddy. Okay, we'll have him. It'll be easy. And uh, yeah, no worries. It'll just be we'll just waltz in. Get him with the dragon. Call it a day. Okay? Well, those guys horribly died. What on earth did all that damage to you? I can't teleport with draw either. Well, that was horrific. No idea what was hitting there, but I assume it's something to do with this demon prince. Does it look like we're doing the job up there? Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's uh, not half bad. Not half bad. All right, let's debuff him. And we're going to buff ourselves up there. You are going to keep shooting that jerk. Good, we've almost got the guns up here too. 
Uh, this is a problem, obviously. So you go type Ben. Uh, um, might throw in some random lightning, but I might just try and keep our guys in the fight. Oh no, come back here. Oh, this is no good. No, no, no one said you could do that. No, no one said you could do that. Okay. Okay, need to kill them in a hurry as well. Because I need these celestial dragon uh, warriors over here. Uh, oh, we're running out of magic as well. Let's get some more. Channel the winds. And yep, shoot for point blank. Suits me. And you guys keep moving in this way. Uh, wow, that's a mess. I'm going to drop a bomb on them. It's going to be great. I'm going to try and drop a bomb on them. I'm going to try and it'll be great. Let's see how that does. <laughs> Next to nothing. Excellent. <laughs> exactly what I was hoping for. Whoops. Alright. More Terracotta Sentinels, please. Excellent. Now let's debuff our enemies. Alright, this is getting a little hairy, isn't it? Sure is. Ugh. Yeah, Gardener's doing alright. Let's run in here. Deal with these plague drones. I need to bail out our boy up here. Okay, I also need to make sure that we're doing as much damage as possible with Miao Yin. Oh, the Terracotta Sentinels are clearly, clearly ready. It doesn't look like there's anything more spawning from up there, so I'm going to try and get in the way of these. But all of these, um, yeah, all of these folks. Oh, God, you're in a bit of a bind up there as well, aren't you? Everyone's in a bit of a bind. It looks like we've almost got this demon, just the fact that we have all of these Terracotta Sentinels that are crazy good. Alright, he's rampaged right now. Alright, curse the Midnight Wind. Okay, we're going to keep debuffing. How did you end up up there? Come on. Oh, kill the Gardener, please. I'm a little confused as to what's going on in here. It's become a little bit of a mess. Yeah, do you just want to just want to back out of that? That'd be fine. Uh, let's get some more Terracotta Sentinels. Yep. <laughs> Even more. That's right. Never stopping. Never stopping. Alright, Meow Yin, come on. Let's have him, yeah? Okay, you attack that lot. You guys. I guess you pile in as well. This really is such a mess right now. Uh, we will get... Okay, 30 more seconds to stand your ground. It looks like we've almost got him. Let's just get another Terracotta Sentinel in, just for good measure. Brilliant. These guys are shooting at us. These plague drones. Very rude. Oh, oh, we lost a tower. We lost a tower up there, apparently. Alright, come on. We've almost got him. Okay, another Curse of the Midnight Wind. Okay, let's debuff all the enemies. Bunch of nonsense over here. Only 24%. Of them left. But god, they just won't stop, will they? So how many okay, we have six <laughs> terracotta sentinels. That should do it, right? Six terracotta sentinels? Like to think so. Alright, come on guys, start swinging. Don't just stare at him. Come on. Use those glaives. Yeah, that's more like it. What was that? I feel like he just got a bit coy at the end there. Or did this thing put him off? <laughs> this is obscene. <laughs> Look at this. This is very silly. Are you... Are you winning, son? Oh, what are you even doing? Are you gonna... Okay, that landed. That landed. Okay, good. <laughs> this is very silly. Truly very silly. Alright, where are you? Here we are. Uh, can I try and hit with lightning? I don't think we're going to be able to hit him with lightning. Maybe we will. Hard to say. I'm going to try and hit with lightning. I think it would be awesome if we managed to somehow beat him with lightning. Ready? I mean, we did hit him. He's still going, though. Got him. We got him. He's down. He's down. He was stubborn. When you think about how quickly we killed the last demon prince, that was obscene. Like, seriously. 
The last one, if you guys recall, we just netted him. Hit him with 2,000 damage per hit with Miao Yun. You know, a couple of slaps, he was basically dead. And we just had all of our uh, guns looking at it. We had crane gunners, we had, you know, we had the um, iron hail gunners. And yeah, we had some jade warriors. Actually, it was just peasant archers, wasn't it? Although we did have the one unit of um, Celestial Dragon uh, crossbowmen, which sadly we left over here for some reason. Should have had them up here, really. So how's everyone doing? We done? Almost. Almost. Once again, I feel like the Terracotta Sentinels are doing the job. I mean, you guys doing okay? Kind of. I, I felt like they were getting in each other's way a lot, but if you look at damage as value, like they all... Oh, that one did nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, they seem to hit things. They do seem to do some damage as they're stropping about. You know, as they're stomping. And doing... Whatever you'd call this. Staff, I think it's called, isn't it? It's literally just staff. But anyway. Good stuff. I know it's a glaive. I mean the sort of like the circus art of... That's we're going to stick about. It's just called staff, I think. Stuff. Nurgle's demon prince, the gardener, is vanquished. Claim his soul before his body rots. Then you must leave. For when you are this close to the god of decay, no immunity will last. Quest completed. Heroic victory. Sure was. Didn't lose any units either, so that's good news. Okay, let's, uh, once again, we're going to pardon the captives, even though it makes no sense. It makes no sense, but we're going to grab everything that isn't nailed down or rotting and leave. And, um, you know what? We shouldn't touch anything, actually. Looting anything from this place is a bad idea, but whatever. We're going to somehow get money out of it, uh, because casualty replenishment rate doesn't matter. Because we're going to end up sat at home, you know, insane, and hoping that that will uh, be cured. So we'll be sat around for so long that that casualty replenishment rate won't matter. Mercy. Ursul is not dead. The bear still clings to life. Of course, God blood to break a curse. Too long. I was imprisoned in shadow. Finally, my flesh Returns! Flesh to tear, little demon. When I am free, you will know the wrath of a god. The bonds of the forge are strong, and you grow weak. Our journey is not complete. The Lord of Shadows is a shadow no more. With his curse broken, he can pursue his burning desire to enact revenge and dominate the world. Well, how about that? That Bellacor is at it again. Uh, so he now has a body again, uh, which, I, I mean, I think it's going to be really awkward if another ever chosen. Uh, well, if like a new hero, uh, I say hero, uh, a new fallen hero, I suppose, is ready to be crowned ever chosen. And he turns up, he's supposed to be all ghosty, be like, oh yeah, being ever chosen. It, yeah, I don't think he's going to be into that anymore. So it's going to really throw a spanner in the works next um, next end times. So anyway, better call, he has form again, and he still has plans for Urson. Very scary stuff. But we still have plans for Urson. He knows where our sister went, so it's important we find him. So, immunity's, oh yeah, it's just fine, we did that. Good. Another soul is ours, contained within the Tome of Fates. It would be much easier if we could collect the essence of any demon. 
But a true soul only comes from those with mortal origins. That is why we must slay demon princes, for their soul stuff, no matter how wretched, comes from a creature that was once mortal. So, to complete this great task, we must hunt down two more demonic princelings. Yep, so um, carry on doing what you're doing, team. Basically. Uh, so Meow Yin, actually huge replenishment rate, just because she's a baller, so even with that minus five, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so do I send her to the Tower of Asher, or do I send her to Snake Gate, where we can get a discount? I'm tempted to send her to Snake Gate. Yeah, you go over there. It'll be fine. And you... Oh, we actually moved them this turn. So that's it. We're done for the turn, and we're done for this episode. But hey, two souls down, guys. Two souls down. Hell yeah. So, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.